state's marijuana industry took in more than $500 million in taxable sales in its first year, leading to nearly $70 million in tax revenue. As the marijuana business grows in Nevada, the need for skilled workers is also on the rise. 8 News Now reporter Sally Jaramillo looks into what one college is doing to educate students on the budding profession. With the legalization of marijuana, uh, I felt that it was important that we educate the public. Francis Jordan is a chemist with Cannabis Testing Laboratory, MA Analytics. He is also an instructor for the new sure. Cannabis 101 sure, course that is being offered at CSN. He says learning about the medicine is a must in order to promote patient safety. Cannabis 101, again, it's, it focuses on the science behind the class, so I touched on the history. And I touched on the cannabinoids, the cell receptors, the endocannabinoid system. Uh, in the class, we touched on how to identify terpenes by smell and the effects they have on the body. This class meets for two weeks every Tuesday and Thursday. And so far, Jordan has 22 students enrolled. His goal? To inform them on how to use the plan properly. I enrolled, enrolled in this course uh, really to talk about cannabis in an academic setting. I, I love everything about it. I love the um, medicinal effects of the plant, and I have been... Um, you know, using it for a while now. Mm -hmm. So I believe in it and I know that um, it can help others. Although no degree is offered, full attendance in the class gives the students a certificate of completion. And for those who want to get into the cannabis business, this could give them a leg up over other candidates. The students are looking forward to more classes in the future. Having a 102 class to go a little deeper into the terpenes, and there's so many, um, you know, effects that it can give, so I think that going a little deeper would be really beneficial. Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now. If you are interested in signing up for those classes or those seminars, we have posted information on our website at lasvegasnow.com.